Hey guys, what's up? It's me, PS Freak 33 and today we are on Destiny to show you a brand new glitch on the uh, new Reef social space known as the Vestian Outpost. This is part of the new DLC, House of Wolves, and we're going to be showing you how to get fully outside the map, not like the other videos have been showing this lame area underneath the map, which you can only move 5 feet or so. We're actually be showing you how to get fully outside the map, right over here where that huge piece of metal is hanging out in the distance off the main complex. So what I want to let you guys know is before doing any glitch in any social space, always make sure you have your agility at max. I see a lot of people make this mistake, a lot of people don't even know that you have to do this because a lot of people don't mention a video. Just kind of look at your subclass, I looked at this Warlock Sun Terrier subclass and you'll notice that my jump is much higher now that I turned it up. And now we're going to be showing you first how to get inside the map solely, which I highly advise you don't do because a lot of the times what just happened there, like you go to jump on top of this first little fallen little piece here or whatever it is has a symbol on it and then you jump on top of this metal thing you jump and then you jump again off that blue ramp like slope and most of the time you'll deflect off to the right instead of actually going forward but i just want to show you right there that you can do this entire glitch which is pretty amazing that you can do it so it's a lot of glitches you can't do solo especially the ones that actually get you inside of a map in a social space so that's pretty cool that you can do it but i'd highly advise against it because it is hugely hugely problematic just because it's just pretty much luck that you have to face on but here I'll show you in a two person mode, you're going to watch the guy on the piece of metal, he's going to crouch and stand to let him know that he's going. Once he stands back up, wait a second and then jumps and then the other guy jumps off him and gets up top. So I'm going to be showing that in a few different angles to get the, so you guys get the concept of it down. But make sure you have your agility at max. Just look around your subclass, crank it up as high as you can because it makes a difference between not making a jump and actually making a jump. It can make all the difference. So over here you can get on top of this metal thing two ways. So now watch, I crouch and stand to let my friend know I'm going and then I begin to run jump a second later and then you'll notice at the very top of the screen you're going to see him jump up for a second you see his feet come into the frame just by a second and he, he jumps off my head quickly and gets up top so now I'm actually going to show you how I do it uh, and how I actually get up myself so just come up here jump on top of this or make it up the other way and then once you're here you're going to see my friend crouch stand and then I'm going to run he's going to jump, jump forward I'm going to jump off his head and there you go that's pretty much it now here, there's still a few other complications that are going to occur, but now you just pretty much did the hardest part in my opinion. Well, the second, well, about the hardest part. The next hardest part is jumping on top of these. So you're going to first jump on top of this little blue little hump, and then this is the tricky part, jump, dropping onto these pipes. So if you go too much to the left, you're going to hit that blue slope, and you're going to fall, and you're going to die, and you have to redo it all over again. And also, when you drop, make sure not to go too far right, because you'll also bounce off the pipe. Right there, you almost saw me hit it. But as you're running towards these little blue like things to jump on these little blue pillars, make sure that you don't run into them full tilt because you will ricochet off them and you'll also fall. Now here is tricky. See this piece of metal? The first piece of metal that you see that hangs out that's closest to you, overestimate it by about two feet because the actual metal thing is fake as you can see them inside of it. What I'm actually on is this pipe that's underneath me right here as you can see. This little big pipe right here. The small pipe's actually fake as well. But as you can see, now you're pretty much fully outside the map. It's pretty hard to fuck up from here, especially because once you get over to this another big area, you're pretty much safe and sound. As, as soon as you're on that real ground, you're pretty much, you can actually spawn back outside here if you die. So make your way back to the building after you kind of go out there and explore for yourself. But you can make your way back and now you're actually on this whole ground. And once you're over here, you're more likely to spawn actually outside the map if you are to die now. So there's only one death barrier to really be concerned about other than the obvious ones that if you jump off the map, you're going to probably die other than one area. But we'll show you that at the end of the video. But as you can see, you can actually come inside the secret room back here, and this was actually the very first day that the, uh, the the DLC came out. Like, we haven't even done a single story mission at this point when we were recording this. And uh, we actually saw this hallway, which if you guys can recognize, this is where Xur was actually on the weekend. He was actually located here. We were wondering what the purpose of that room was. And then next thing you know, a few days later, Xur opens up in there and he's in there. So I guess that's what it was for. We thought it was just a failed area because it seemed kind of pointless to have a dead-end hallway. But, um... Yeah, it's great that you can do this glitch both solo and like with two people, but for the rest of the reef, it doesn't look like it's very glitchable. But that's pretty much what we've seen so far. But now, what we're going to show you, we can, you can actually get back out over here. We tried getting on top of a different roof at the very far end, opposite of where I am at this end right now. But we think it's buried. You guys can try. You might be able to get onto the back side of the reef. We think it's buried, pretty sure, but we're, you can give it a shot and feel free to explore yourself. But um, once you run out here, you can actually go far enough past the death barrier. You can actually just simply drop and you don't even like you just smack your head off that pole basically and you're more than likely to spawn there. If you don't spawn down the lower pipe after hitting it, 
just keep hitting it more and you'll eventually spawn but as you see i spawned instantly down here once i dropped and now you're way below the map you can actually go underneath the death bear which is pretty cool but um anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video please send me, please send me a message if you guys have any complications with it i'll help you out if you need it but um please like this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and as always have fun glitching